Good Tuesday, good Tuesday morning, YouTube. How you guys doing today? I have some sad news uh, for you guys this morning. Um, a black woman, a 19-year-old, I'm going to say little girl, uh, was reported missing from Tallahassee, Florida uh, on June, I believe, 3rd. She was found dead along with another woman, an elderly woman, just days later. The name of this uh, girl was uh, Lawan Toyin. She was a Black Lives Matter activist. Uh, I found some videos I'm going to try to share um, with you guys. God bless her. So let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's try to roll this tape. Okay, hold on. Mm. ...and a community volunteer. Police say the bodies of Vicki Sims and Olawatoyan Salu were found here on Monday Road, not far from Orange Avenue and North Blairstone Road. ABC 27's Jada Williams is following this story tonight, and she joins us live from that neighborhood. Ava, as you can imagine, this news comes as a shock, not only to the families of the victims, but the people living here on Monday Road. This house behind me is where both of those bodies were found. And despite our request for more information from the Tallahassee Police Department, they're giving out very little. But here's what we do know. Tallahassee police are now working to piece together what led to the deaths of 19-year-old Alua Toy and Salou and 75-year-old Vicki Sims. TPD says Salou was last seen June 6th. That same day, the 19-year-old wrote on social media that she had been sexually assaulted. Activists who had recently protested with Salu across Tallahassee formed a multi-day search for her. It's reassuring to know that we have members of our community who are willing to participate in events that don't necessarily affect them. As the search for Alua Toy and Salu continued, 75-year-old Vicki Sims was reported missing on June 11th. Sims was known to many in Tallahassee for always stepping up to help her community. She volunteered with the Tallahassee AARP, who posted on Facebook. Vicki worked tirelessly to improve the lives of others as a dedicated advocate for older Americans, a committed volunteer for AARP. Sadly, both of those searches would end Saturday night when officers found their bodies inside a home on Monday Road. 49-year-old Aaron Glee Jr. now faces charges in their death. Glee was arrested in Orange County. TPD has not said if or when he will be return to Leon County. Now, uh, we have been told, we have also not been told what a possible motive could have been in these murders. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27. So sad. Um, like the video stated, um, just days before she was reported missing, she had uh, written out a series of tweets on Twitter um, saying that she had been uh you know, sexually assaulted by a black man driving a vehicle that offered her a ride after she went to collect her items from a church she had been staying. And evidently she had left home um, because she said that she was living under unfair living conditions. So I found this, I also found this video um, on Twitter uh, of a person, you know, giving their condolences, offering rest and power. Queen Salou, uh, Oluwa, I'm sorry, Oluwatoyan Salou, uh, in the tweet states that black women deserve so much more. I absolutely agree. Show up, uh, fight for, and protect all black women while they are still here. Say her name. God bless her. You know, and, and black women are, in fact, fighting on so many fronts. Um, the suspect in custody is a 49-year-old black man. Uh, like the report said, that they were the bodies of both of them were found um, in this rundown house that you're looking at on the screen. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I'm, is this some kind of, like, uh, serial killer? Like, no more information has been given out other than she went missing. Her body was found uh, in this house along with the body of another 75-year-old black woman. And I read somewhere that they read, they actually met, these two women met at a Black Lives Matter protest. Okay, so I don't know what the connection is. The police don't know what the connection is yet or either they're not saying because that is all, as of right now, that is all um, we know about this. I just heard about this really a few minutes ago, and I wanted to let you guys know because um, evidently it's been going on for a couple of days, and I've not heard anything about it. And that is the reason why we have a whole organization, uh, you know, shining light on the death of black women. Um, I don't think this was a, uh, you know, an incident uh, like a Black Lives what Black Lives Matter protest. 
you know, about that type of incident. So maybe that's why it's being ignored. I hope it's not being ignored because she is a black woman. Do you see what I'm saying? But if she was killed, if she was murdered at the hands of the hands of the police, via some type of police brutality, along with the fact that she was an avid Black Lives Matter activist, you know what I mean? It would have been widely reported, splashed all over the, all over the news. But we know that. Um, history has told us that the deaths of, of black women in particular um, go unnoticed, largely unnoticed in this country, okay, unless it's something extra like a police brutality case. There are thousands of black women that go missing in this country, thousands every year, and uh, none of those uh, are, are hardly ever investigated. You hardly ever see the picture of a black woman going across your screen because she is missing. Do you see what I'm saying? They... Uh, a lot of people seem to devalue the life of the black woman, okay? So anyway, uh, I found this video um, on Twitter also of her um, speaking. And I'm going to go, if I can, I'll let you guys hear what she had to say. This is her protesting at a Black Lives Matter event. Rest in peace, all the one. My God, this baby was 19 years old, y'all. 19. Mm. Nah, can't nobody silence me. I just want... It's not that all lives don't matter, but right now, our lives matter. Black, Black lives, matter. lives matter. Yes. Black trans lives matter. Yes. Trans lives matter. Yes. Because guess what? We all minorities, but right now, like, let's focus on the person who got killed. Tony McDay was a black trans man. Okay. Amen. We're not doing this. We're doing this for him. We're doing this for our brothers and our sisters who got shot. But we're doing this for every black person. Because at the end of the day, I cannot take my fucking skin color off. Mm -mm. I cannot mask this shit, okay? Everywhere I fucking go, I'm profiled whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Like, I'm looked at whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Being, first of all, I want white people to realize the fucking privilege. Yes, ma'am. No one can look at you and tell anything about you unless you give them that information. Wherever the fuck I go, I'm profiled. Mm -hmm. Look at my fucking hair. Look at my skin, bruh. We love it. This shit, I can't take this shit off. So guess what? I'm going to die about it. Yeah. I'm going to die about my fucking skin. You cannot take my fucking blackness away from me. My blackness is not for your fucking consumption, nigga. It's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. And y'all need to listen. It's Like I said, it's okay to be angry. Use wisdom, don't move stupidly, and get yourself hurt. Y'all already seen, we all in this together. I, I didn't mean to, like, divide anybody. We all in this together. My brother, who got, um, he got ran over. Y'all need to know who the fucking enemy is. I, I, sometimes I get mad, but I'm not trying to divide nobody. Y'all need to remember who fucking enemy is. It's right. racist, Tallahassee. White, racist, Tallahassee. Say it again. Because those are the niggas. That ran our fucking brother over. So y'all need to keep that in mind. The same, the same energy that we had when we were walking the fucking streets, keep that with you at all fucking times. Don't let nobody take away your blackness from you. Your blackness is not supposed to be subdued at all. It's not. Wow. She is very passionate. Very, very passionate. Uh, God bless her. God rest her soul. She spent her last days uh, fighting uh uh in, in protest in protesting um because so many of our black brothers and sisters have fallen prey have fallen victim um to brutality police brutality and many other injustices that go on in this country um we know this you know so let me scroll back up i found i actually found the tweets and i wanted to show them to you guys um if i could um it says that hold on one minute she says uh this is the tweet that she put out on June 6th. Now, after this, shortly after this series of tweets, I just found the one, but shortly after this, um, she's reported missing, you know, and she was found dead in a home just days after that. So the tweet says, um, and I quote, anyways, um, I was molested in Tallahassee, Florida, uh, by a black man this morning at 5.30 on Richview and Park Avenue. The man offered to give me, uh, give me a ride to find some place to sleep. Uh, as and and recollect um my belongings from a couple from a church 
um, I refused to a couple of days back to escape unjust living conditions. So, yeah, like I said, I saw another video and it stated that um, it is believed that she ran away from home for whatever reason. But she's saying it was unjust living conditions and she's letting everybody know, you know, that she's been molested by this uh, black man at 530 in the morning. She he offered her a ride. So, um, God bless her. So, this is the tweet right here. This is a little more about it. Another tweet says, um, he came disguised as a man of God. Wow. Uh, and ended up <clears throat> picking me up from nearby Saxon Street. I entered his truck only because I carry anything, only because I carry anything to defend myself, not even a phone. I guess she says she don't carry anything to defend herself, not even a phone, which is currently at the church. Uh, and I have poor vision. I trusted the Holy Spirit to keep me safe. Uh, there's another tweet that says, um, when we arrived at his house, he offered me a shower and I thanked him, uh, I thanked him in a shower and, and he gave me a change of clothes. He exposed himself to me, uh, by, by peeing with the bathroom open, obviously knowing I was, I was out of it. Um, I told him about a sexual assault situation that happened. Lord Jesus. <clears throat> she goes on to state that. To me, in March, involving uh, that happened to her in March, involving Ivan, a 32-year-old Ghanaian man who currently schools at FAMU uh, and lives at 211 Jacks and Patterson. I am currently 19 years old. Um, who tried to force me to give him oral sex and then continued to harass me through text and knocking at my door. Lord, this child was preyed upon so many times, y'all. She goes on to state that going back to the situation that happened to me this morning, um, I did not fall asleep. He then asked me if I wanted a massage. Lord Jesus. At this moment, his, his roommate, um, who was in the house was asleep. I was laying on my stomach trying to calm myself down from severe PTSD. He started touching my back and rubbing my body using my, using my body until he Lord Jesus, climax, and then went to sleep. Uh, before I realized what happened to me, I looked over and his clothes were completely off. Lord Jesus, once I saw he was asleep, I escaped from the house and started walking from Richview Road anywhere else. Uh, Richview, Richview Road to anywhere else. All of my belongings, my phone, my clothes, shoes are all, uh, Assumably, assumably, at the church where I've been trying to track since I sought spiritual guidance, a refuge, I will not be silent. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, she goes on to state that literally, literally, wearing the man's clothes right now, DNA all over me because I couldn't locate his house the moment I called the police because I couldn't see. Uh, I I guess that's the end of it. You know, and some other people are, are tweeting, says, um, I'm so sorry that happened to you, dear. Uh, are you are you in a safe place? Do you need an Uber to get someplace uh, to get someplace safe? DM me. We are trying to locate Toyin. She is missing. This is when the, the conversations turn to um, the fact that she's been missing. Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. There's a state that says, um, please let her be OK. Please let her be unharmed. Please let her be alive. Please, please let her find safely. Please protect her. She oh, then somebody says she was found dead last night. It goes on to state that, uh, and I'm reading the tweets, guys. Okay, uh, this is so shocking to me. I, I I just found out about this every time I wake up. Like I, I told you guys the other day, I'm so tired of reporting on black death. And this poor little girl right here, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. There's another tweet that states, um, where were all the people that knew her, um, were looking for her when she needed shelter? Why was a stranger her only option? I don't know the circumstances, but we need to, we need to be there for people before tragedy happens. Absolutely right. This is effed up and it's hard to understand. Child. Who? So I'm going to read this last one that says, uh, let me just say that coming from a similar ethnic background and having to escape my home as well, wow, uh, close friends are always capable of helping aside from listening when you need to vent. 
Uh, mind you, I'm 26. She was 19. Uh, she was 19. Uh, I guess 19 years of age, and and excess play a role in excess. She was 19 years of age, and excess play a role in how much help someone can be. I don't even understand what that means. Child. Somebody also says that open your eyes, people. Go back to her past tweets. Language is, language is very different uh, for someone in distress. How are they able to type so coherently? I agree that something's not adding up. So now they're starting to speculate as to what really happened. Um, but you know what? The end analysis is the child has gone away from here. Do you see what I'm saying? So <clears throat> people want to dissect it now, but just like somebody said, where was they when she, you know, when, when they needed her? God bless her, you know. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. God bless you. Rest in peace, all the while. She was 19 years old, toy and sallow. So I want to bring this information to you guys. I was trying to read some more before I before I ended this video. Um, it's it's just pretty bad. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Like I said, I just found out about this. And so anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. You know, uh, please say a prayer uh, for Alawan Toyin Salu. God bless her. She spent her life, uh, her last days fighting against injustice and only to fall a uh, victim uh, to a crime, uh, a senseless act of injustice that culminated, that resulted in her life being taken at only 19 years old. I just don't understand the humanity or lack of humanity. A lack of, of humanity. I'm sorry, this going on in this world right now. This is not the world that I grew up in. You know, but I think it's such a shame that this is the world that our young people are living in right now. And we have to do better. Have to do better. Prayers up to Olawa, as well as the other woman found in that raggedy house uh, that I showed earlier on the police report. I'm going to get off of here. You guys let me know what you think about this very, very sad video in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day. Peace.